Cody, go back. Good! Good dog! That is a good dog! Feel really good, just as sweet as wine. Go back. Good. Go back. Go back. Good dog! Cody, go back. Good dog. Good. Good girl. That's a good girl. Oh, good. Good. Dead. Good dog. Good dog. A little fun. Good. This morning, we're going to build again off of yesterday. Um, we're going to incorporate a few things. Last night, I had Cody out to a, a completely different area um, that we train at. <clears throat> ran real nice big circle memories um, she did really well I was really happy with it uh, she pushed through some pretty good cover it was hay, a hay field but it was you know up past my knees so she really had to push through it <clears throat> it was a lot it gave us some opportunity to go even longer distances than what we can do here um, she handled it really well we didn't really handle her at all um, but it, the, the application was there of some of these longer lines. We fired a shot. Um, so, so we did some pretty nice stuff. We're, gonna, we're back here <clears throat> this morning. And I, I kind of think back on the day before and what did we do well and what did we struggle with. And yesterday we, we, I misfired and shot wide to one side. Ended up probably a good thing. Um, and so we're gonna do a little bit of that today and build off of it. <clears throat> we also did some lining through the additional decoys. We put a bunch more decoys out. <clears throat> we're gonna do that again today. Um, we're going to, one of the things that she didn't do well yesterday was uh, respond to the sit to the whistle at a distance. Um, and so we're gonna work a drill, we're gonna work on that a little bit. I'm gonna probably, I haven't done this in <clears throat> a week or two, I'm gonna probably, um, hunt some cover, hunt these tight pockets <clears throat> with scent, with tennis balls. Um, again, things that she maybe struggled with a little bit in the application part, go back and fix on a small scale. So hunting a tighter area, um, stopping her on a whistle, working her in, into a tight area to, to find something specific. So <clears throat> We're gonna work on that. We're gonna add that in today. I might even use that cover over there. Um, I haven't used that cover to do that drill. Um, so we might use that. So, what, but what I'm gonna start out with is, <clears throat> we, we do know, I do wanna handle, and one of the things that I wanna do from a left and right and back standpoint is um, add some distance to it. We did that a little bit with the base, with the simple baseball drill over there. Um, I think what I'm going to do is maybe start out with that movement um, handling drill that we taught that I've talked about and haven't done yet. Um, in order to do that, we'll start down in this corner. Um, again, there's lots of variations to these drills. <clears throat> Once you get the skill done, you can add all sorts of variations to it. I don't think there's like a set way you have to do it every time. Um, I think there's logical ways to, to sequence it. Um, heel. So let's start out, Ben, with doing that, and then we'll work into. Um, Using this big circle area, we will. I, I, I'm going to fire a long mark again for her. I might even try doing it at a little bit different angle from her, not necessarily firing it right next to her. I'll put a little distance, and so we'll work into that. But to start out with, I'm going to come down here <clears throat> because I do need some area to work in. Um, part of the reason we worked yesterday and did the drills we did was because I wanted to. I wanted to have these decoys introduced and have her understand that these decoys are should not be a distraction. They shouldn't throw her off. Visually, they might a little bit because she might look at them and go, is that a dummy? But she's got to be able to work through it. That's real, very realistic to when she's going to be hunting. Come on. I didn't, I, I took the lead off this morning because I used it with the puppy and I wish I had it right now. Um, okay, so now what I'm going to do to start this out, nope, heel. Need a need a sharp sit to the whistle. We're gonna start this out with a good solid recall. I'm gonna call her all the way to me.
Good. Good. I don't want I don't want her to get into the habit of slow stepping it back, expecting her to get a back cast there. I want I want crisp recall back. <clears throat> nice solid running out. Um, the last couple of days we have seen a little bit of stickiness from her where she goes out. It's usually when she's not confident. Um, so it's not necessarily, I don't call it a popping problem. A, a dog that pops would be a dog that expects to be handled or needs to be handled to get to the dummy. So they run out and turn around and look for help right away. I don't want that. Taylor has run into that over the years. Now, what I'm gonna end up doing is I'm gonna send her out, stop her halfway, throw a dummy 90 degrees to her. So halfway, it's gonna be about where Ben is, just a little bit beyond Ben. I'm gonna throw it about the distance that she is from that dummy that way. So we're gonna make a T between me, her, and the dummy, and then that dummy. <clears throat> and I'm gonna send her back. So I'm gonna throw this as a diversion, send her back, and then I'll show you what we're gonna do after that. We're gonna replicate a lot of these T-shaped things uh, but we're gonna have some movement and every time we're gonna turn 90 degrees to it. Now, you'll see it kind of unfold here. So I have to be ready. Stop her halfway, be ready to throw a dummy. Cody. Now she went a little further. I let her go a little further than I wanted to. I throw the dummy. About in line with her. So if I wanted to, I could go with the left right now and she'd go right to it. But I'm gonna send her back. Go back. Good. And she's gotta pick that one with the diversion to her left. <clears throat> Good. So I let her get a little bit further away than I wanted to. Heal. Which was a challenge was more challenging you know especially with her she's one of those dogs that once she gets over the hill it's hard to stop her so that was good nice little recall to the whistle or a little stop to the whistle heel now what i do is i spin 90 degrees heel this is where i wouldn't mind having that little lead on her <coughs> to crisp get this little crisper this is where heel, good heel work is important now what i'm going to do is i turn 90 degrees i'm going to walk a straight line i'm going to leave her here I'm gonna walk a straight line and I'm gonna take the distance where it's 90 degrees to that dummy, I'm gonna double that. Sit. So I'm gonna go this distance. Right here would be 90 degrees to her. I'm gonna double it. So now when I call her to me, she'll be coming halfway between me and her I'm gonna stop her to the whistle coming to me. I'm gonna throw a diversion to the right. So last time I threw a diversion to the left and I sent her back. This time I'm throwing a diversion to the right. She's gonna send her to the left. But what I'm gonna do is have that one be in straight line with that one. So you gotta get your distances right. So we just walked a straight line. I can see it in the grass, it's wet. I'm gonna stop her halfway. I'm gonna pitch it halfway. So there's a straight T there. Send her to the left. So I'm gonna stop her with my left hand, start her with my left hand, stop her with my left hand, throw with my right. Now if I wanted to, I could go right or left. It's a straight line for her. And you see her looking back and forth at him. There's a distraction as the trucks come in. I get her eyes. Get out. Good. Good dog. I get her eyes to me and then send her. Dead. Good. Put this one back. Now, I'm gonna turn 90 degrees to the right. Heel. Sit. Sit. I walk out. Now is where those decoys are gonna come into play. <clears throat> I don't know that I would recommend doing this for the first time with a bunch of decoys. <clears throat> it's also a lot easier in a short mode field. So the dummy's there. I walk the distance, I double the distance. So now I'm gonna heal her, I'm gonna recall her to me. I'm gonna stop her halfway. Ha ha ha, sit down. Sit. 
I'm going to stop her halfway and send her to the right, but before I do that, I'm going to throw a diversion to the left. So I need to th send, I need to stop her with this hand because this is the way I'm going to end up sending her. So I'll throw with the left. So I get my dummy ready. Get out. Here's where that 90 degree screw throws her off a little bit. Good dog. Good girl. There's her little habit of sucking to me a little bit. Did. Good. See how when she doesn't make a 90 degree turn, and she's done that a few times where her right hand, she comes in and all of a sudden she's off. So this drill is gonna help her understand coming in doesn't help me. I end up having to go back, turn and go 90 degrees. That's where if you back up, if you do this too early, you're gonna have that issue. If you back up to where you're using those straight edge guides, that's hopefully helping them understand turn and go 90 degrees. Don't, don't come forward or fade back. Now I spin again. Sit. This one will be a little more difficult. Sit. Because now I'm, now I'm really taking it. If you had a big, big open field in here, it'd be a lot easier. But now I've got this one here. So I'm going to walk right through here. Now I know the 90 degrees is just short of that clump of grass, because <clears throat> I just saw it. So I'm gonna stop her just before she gets into the cover. If she gets into the cover just a little bit, that'd be all right too. I actually, ideally thinking about it, you know, sit. It'd be great if I had moved that dummy a little bit further so I could stop her in the cover and send her through the cover, but that's a little, hi, 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 hi. Sit down. Now I'm going to send her to the left, so I got to be able to throw with my right. Hi, 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 hi. Sit. Sit. So I'm going to require her to focus through this. Longer drill, and she's getting a little bit distracted. Good. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, let's go. Come on, come on. Get up. Good girl, very nice. Good girl. Good, hold, dead, good girl, heel, heel. You can pick, I can, this last one you can do whatever you want. You can pick it up. I, I would, what I, I'm gonna do this again, but what I would do next time is I'd probably walk around, make a circle and send her back through and have her pick this up as a long memory. <clears throat> kind of a half circle. So there's a lot of different variations that you can do. Um, so I, that's, now I did it rather slow and kind of walked through it. And um, it probably was good for her heel. Cause her focus was, I required her heel to have to focus through all my talking. Um, I don't know that I'd recommend doing it that way for the first time with, with your dog. I think, be concise, be precise, get in, step, 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 step. I'm making a, I'm, I'm putting a big emphasis with this dog on asking her to really develop and build her memory up. Um, I think it's important for her to be able to, I mean, I'm, I've got eight, I'm carrying, last night I carried nine bumpers, nine dummies, and set them all out. 
I had three, I had four dogs with, um, so that was part of the reason. But these dogs all had to remember nine spots. Um, now, there was three in one spot, three in another, three in another, and then uh, my buddy that was with Chris had a couple out in another spot. So really there was four spots and there was about 11 or 12 dummies. 12, I guess we used total. So I am requiring them to remember stuff. I think it's a great way to exercise their minds as much as their bodies. So now I can set this up and I can come back the other way. Um, so let me, now you gotta remember, this thing's moving, so we started over there and we end up over here. So now if I start over here, I'm gonna end up over there. Um, it's a moving drill, and you can, you can, change, you can change it up, and, and you can build in some backs, you can build in different, different directions with it. But let's, let's run it a little bit smoother without so much of a walk through as far as talking about it. <coughs> and we'll work it back through those decoys. And we'll probably end up in different spots. So I always started out, <coughs> Nope, heel. I'm always gonna start it out with a back cast. I like to get a recall into it. So now I'm gonna take advantage of this change in, in uh, cover, make it a little harder on her. I like to get a recall all the way to start it out because I know what's coming. We're gonna do several where we're gonna recall and stop her in the middle. Recall her hard all the way, then send her and stop her. That's just how I like to do it. Now, if she didn't come real hard, I'm gonna call her all the way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Good girl. Get her to come with that kind of little bit of zip. Now, I'll send her back, stop her, and I'll throw over. So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do with this one is, I'm gonna throw this one into the cover. So again, this is just, I'm gonna change this stuff up. I'm gonna throw it into the cover so that when I send her, I handle her into that cover. So I'm gonna line her out, so you're ready to stop her, throw it into the cover, send her back. Cody. Go back. Good. Good girl. Very good. Come on. Good girl. I like using that. That doesn't seem like much, guys. That's a big deal to some dogs. Some dogs don't want to push through that. Dead. She didn't want to push through that, not that long ago. Heel. I gotta adjust this mic. Heel. I got a heavy bag because I'm carrying so many dummies. I didn't need as many today. That's it. Now I walk out, 90 degree turn. Walk past that, then double the distance. I'm gonna throw it this way, send her that way. Get out. Good. Good. Good girl. Good girl. Hold. Good girl. Did. Very good. Heel. Now I'm gonna turn 90 degrees. Sit. And these decoys are in, these decoys work out pretty good where they are because she's running through them. She's nap, kind of navigating through them as we go here. There's my dummy, double the distance. 
You don't have to double it every time. You could make it more or less. Now we got a little bit of cover in between me and her. Sit. Ben, why don't you go behind her so you can kind of see this. So now we're incorporating <clears throat> more, more topography, if you will. We're going we're gonna to incorporate some stuff, clumps of, clumps of weeds and brush and trees. Her, her vision to me isn't pure and clean like it has been in a lot of training. So she's looking at me through the brush. She's gonna stop just short of the brush. I'm not gonna have her in the, in, and when I say brush, I mean the weeds, but, so I'm gonna stop her short of that and send her. I'm gonna throw to the other side of it. <clears throat> now I'm gonna send her with my right hand, so I gotta stop her with my, with my right hand. I can't, can't stop her with the left and have to switch hands. So gotta remember which way I'm going with it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, good girl. I liked her face there. Ah, I don't know if she remembers the one to the right. That one goes out to the left. Get out. That one she does not remember. Here, 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 heel. So I want to correct, this is good. I got a chance to make a little correction here. Heel. <clears throat> I could tell when she came running in on it, she didn't remember it. And part of it was because her pace got so fast. Now she's looking and she's going, oh yeah, it's right there. So I stop her, I don't let her get a reward. When she runs in and makes that, doesn't make a crisp 90 degree turn, runs in and decides, ah, maybe I'll hunt over here for a little bit. No, you made the wrong decision. Reset her, put her right back and make it be crisp. Her nose is going right now, she's windy. And she knows there's that one over there because she just saw it. But for whatever reason, she forgot that one. And it's not surprising to me based on her body language coming in. It was slow to begin with, and then I encouraged her, and I think she just thought, run all the way to him. I surprised her when I stopped her. Now she's gotta go 90 degrees, or if she doesn't, I'll reset her again. <clears throat> Get out. Good dog, that's a good girl. That's a good girl, right here. Did good. Now, that one was crisp. <clears throat> and to be honest, she started out almost towards me a step, and, it re and I think she remembered, oh no, I gotta go. She nine clean and boom, and as soon as she did, she saw it too. Now, I've got the last one there. I do think she remembers that one, heel. So this time, instead of picking it up myself, I'm gonna see if I can put a little more time in this and maybe start to challenge your memory a bit. Heel. <clears throat> and I might even make it a little bit even more challenging for her. I'll put one into that pile for her to think about. And that'll be a retrieve we make after this. So we're gonna pick them in order of what I ask her. <coughs> and the way I'm gonna get her off that last dummy is I'm gonna, we're gonna give her a no, leave it and kind of deselect that one. Send back to this one. If you remember yesterday, we sent on a retrieve just like this yesterday. We sent one on this way as well. Now, I'm gonna go back to that one. No, leave it. Heal. Be very clear with that. We learned that with Ellie. If we don't, we set her up to fail. Cody. Good dog, good girl. 
Good girl. Good girl. Hold, hold. Good girl. Good, did, did, good. <clears throat> okay, now we make that. That was nice. Now we turn her back. Now we gotta go through some, we gotta go through that little wall there. We deselected this one last time. Now we send her to it. Watch, watch. Cody, come back. Good dog. Good dog. Very good. That's a good dog. Good hold. Dead. Beautifully done. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> the other thing I didn't even think of it was in the past, and I don't have a lot of concern with it now, but in the past, I think she would have wanted to hunt right here. If I sent her here, she'd have been drawn to that po pocket of cover. She's picked up dummies in there already today. I sent her through a spot that there was already a found bumper. There was already a found bumper right there. So the challenge that we added in there and she did really well with, and maybe, maybe a while back she wouldn't have done as well, is going past these spots where she's already picked up dummies. We're asking her to run right through them and go back for that memory. So she's coming along really nicely with it. Um, that gives you an idea of some of the um, movement that we can add in and create these rights and lefts. Now, the rights and lefts that I've been giving her have been relatively short. And so one thing I wanna make sure of that she's understanding is when we go right and left, sometimes she has to go a little bit further, not just short. Um, I do think we run into, I'm running into that a bit when it comes to application stuff. When I'm giving her hand signals, she's taking them, but she's only taking them for 15 yards, 20 yards max, before she decides to start to hunt or decides to start to fade back or towards me. So <clears throat> before we finish up, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna set it up where we go a long, I wanna go long right, a long left. So I'm gonna create this baseball effect of first base, second base, third base, home plate. Um, you'll notice first and third are a lot longer than home and, and, and second base. So let's, let's do that, Ben. Um, what we'll do is, <clears throat> let's start out over here, heel. I also think it's gonna give her a chance to run through all these decoys. Feathered bumper into cover. Good heel. That'll be end up being the longest of the memories, time-wise. <clears throat> Come around here to what we're gonna call second base. Heel. <laughs> Something right in here just made some noise. Sift. Thinking we might have a pheasant in here, but might have been a rabbit too. Just an opportunity, maybe for some steadiness with there. Get a little flush, have her sit to the flush, heel. Okay, so that we build in that, there's, there's our second base.
Now we'll have to keep in mind, now I gotta keep in mind, I got an old fall there, an old fall there, an old fall here, and now we're gonna put one into a new Make spot. it a little bit tougher on the dog. <clears throat> Things to keep in mind that may show up here <clears throat> as issues. So it's, you can only do this stuff once you feel real confident in her and then you got to recognize if there are issues that might be part of the reason and if that becomes a problem well then you set up specific drills to work on it set it up where she picks up a bunch of dummies in a spot and then you work her through that area to pick one up further Heel. I want to make sure we go th right through the cover <clears throat> Heel. <clears throat> Heel. Now, I'm going to bring her back to the center, or close to it anyway. It's probably a little bit further distance to that one. And so, in order to send her, I'm not gonna send her back yet. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna stop her right here. I'm gonna get in line so that if I wanted to, I could send her back. So I'm gonna line myself up to second base. So home plate over here can kind of slide a little bit. I've got, second base right out there. So I'm gonna get into a straight parallel line with it. So if I wanted to right now, I could send her back. And you're gonna notice my hands are doing all that stuff because I don't want her jumping. I don't want her going on just a visual. I want her to understand when it's time. So if I'm talking with someone, and I don't want the dog assuming stuff. But if I wanted to, I could go back. And you hear me say that and her ears lay back and She's probably wondering if she should do it or not. Good, good, good choice. Now, there's the furthest one. That's the one I'm gonna to send to. The idea of this is make it longer, make her run longer. The idea of this time in between is let it fade. Let the memory start to fade a little bit. And then when I send her to the right, I'm gonna put her on the other side of those decoys and make her go through more decoys to get to the dummy. So I'm gonna go left first. Get out. There's a bad angle. So she cut that short. And look, she corrected herself. Good girl. She remembered it. She just took a bad angle at it. Good girl. Not gonna get on her too hard. Good girl. If she had messed around with it a little bit and, and tried to hunt over here, I'd have called her back and redone it. Did. Did. But she didn't. She just took a real poor angle to it. Now, this time, because she's here, I've got second base and I've got first base. I'm gonna move a bit, <clears throat> change my angle. I'm gonna line her, stop her, send her. This is more, more of an application thing. And I got a choice here. I got a choice. If she decides that she's gonna go that way, maybe I send her back. I got, a, I got a feeling she's not. I think she'll square up. I want her to go to the right. I want her to go right long, so I might do it despite what she, she tries to do or guesses at. As long as she takes a nice line, heel. I'm gonna make sure to go right. Come on. Cody. Get out. Her line out wasn't the greatest. It went to the left a little bit. Her 
her handle to the right was real nice. Good girl. Good dog. Very good. Very good. Good girl. Did. Did. Good. Good. Heel. Now this line was not good. Her line was to the left to that cover. It's not in the cover. It probably hurt her by us moving to the left, probably in her mind has her moving to the left as well. So I need to make sure I really stress she's got to go that way. She has to go through the decoys. She took a little bit of a shield from those decoys and hugged the edge of them. I want to make sure I push her right through them. Good. Go back. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good dog. As she comes back, I'm gonna give her a diversion. Good. Good. No switching. Good girl. The one thing I thought of when I stopped her and, and brought her to me, I could have thrown a diversion at that time. Did. 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 Not as quick to give up the feathered ones. Good. Did. Did. Good. Good. Did. Dead, good. So it's just a little bit of a to firmer tone gets that release on it. Now, I'm gonna pick those last two and we're gonna be done. Um, we, let's do a little hunt command while we're here with those two diversions out. So let's take her in here. Let's use this spot right here. I, got, I have those two diversions out, I gotta pick those up yet. But I'm gonna have her hunt this cover and stay away from those. Loss. Lost, 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 lost. Good. So she's got to hunt. Despite the idea that there are some out there, I want her hunting this spot and I'm right tight with her. Lost. Ah, lost, lost. Good, lost. Lost. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. 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 Lost. 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 Good dog, good dog, very good. Hold, good, good. Dead, good, good. Should be one right out in there. Lost. 
Lost. Lost. Lost. Ah. Lost. Lost. Maybe I put her in the wrong spot. I thought there was one right in that area. No, 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 no. Go on. Lost. No, here, here. Here, lost, lost. Here, here. Let's set this up right. Now, here. I'm, I'm guessing I may be a little short. I was standing there, I threw the diversion, I thought it would have landed right in there. I think there's another one right in here. This is a really good real life application. Hey, I, I think it's over in this area. I like having her hunt from cover to now she's hunting flat. So there's no like confinement but I'm gonna have to help her hold the area. Well, hell, if I put her in the wrong area, whose fault is it, right? So I'm gonna put her out in between that dark goose and that light goose and stop her. I'm gonna line her into there, stop her. It's gotta be in that area. I'm pretty sure. Cody. She's got that bad habit of recall to the hunt whistle. Here, here, here. Cody. Lost, lost, lost. No, 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 no. Here, here, here. Cody. Lost. No! Lost. 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 She's starting to lose a little faith in me. As am I. Lost. Good. Lost. 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 Cody, go, go, Cody, here, here, here. I think I gotta get her deeper. Now, here's my struggle. As Soon as I stop her and give her a hunt, sit. She's gonna come to me. I've seen it five times now. I'm gonna send her out a little bit further. Cody, Cody, here, 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 Cody, lost, lost, no, see how she looks away? She's really, she's really confused right now. I'm a little confused myself. Lost. No. Lost. Good. Lost. Lost. Come here. 
Come here, here, sit. Now, I'm gonna fix this before I get too pissed off. It's right there. So, have I put her in the right spot? No. Am I getting frustrated? Absolutely. Sit. So, I'm gonna simplify it, sit. I'm gonna give myself a second to just relax. Because it's little things like that can, that can get really frustrating. Because you're going, this, we did the tough part and she did really well. The easy stuff, she's tripping all over. Well, whose fault is it? Maybe mine too. I've sent her here how many times now and asked her to hunt. It's over here. She should hunt that. I'm not, I'm not going to make an excuse for her. She should find that. But me helping her out and sending her in the right area, that'll help too. So I'm, gonna give, I'm giving her a chance too to kind of regroup, giving myself a chance to just kind of relax a little bit. If you remember the other day, I got really frustrated with her when I was sending her. She was, wasn't taking any, any handles right. She was we were frustrated. She started to look away from me, kind of like she did right there. I think in her mind, she went, ah, it's gotta be over here. She really wanted to go that way when I told her to hunt right here. She wanted to go that way because all of a sudden she said, you don't know where the hell it is. I'll take a guess at it. Yeah, I can see your, I think she can tell I'm guessing. So at that point, last time or two times ago, I recalled her, I kind of pumped her back up and pumped myself back up maybe. And she did it really well. So I'm gonna line her the right way this time. I'm gonna change my attitude of, instead of you son of a, for not finding it, just go find it. Just go find it. It's right out there, I saw it. Trust me, trust me. Cody, Cody, go back, go back, go back. Cody, go back, go back, go back. Good, go back. Go back, good. Go back. Cody, go back. Lost. Lost. Here, 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 here. Cody, go back. Go back. Good, sit, good. Sit. Lost, 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 lost. Lost. She just walks right over it. She's just not smelling. Good girl. Oh my God, it was there. Oh, you're so embarrassed. You should be embarrassed. Yes. She literally just wasn't picking that scent up. Why, I don't know. Dead. But she literally was walking over the top. Come here. So why was she doing it? I don't know. There's no excuse for it, but hey, I make mistakes too. Cody. Good girl. Good girl. Did. Now, good girl. Let's go back to the short one. Ready? Ready? Cody, find it. Find it. Good. Lost. Lost. Now I'm just gonna let her work and work and work and work because I do think the other part about this is it's great conditioning. I think this tires them out as much or more than anything. They're forced to use their nose. Hard for them breathing wise. They really gotta get their wind up to be able to do this. So I'm gonna let her hunt and hunt and hunt. Good, lost, lost. 
and she's not going to find it close to me. It's going to be on the opposite side of me. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. 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 Lost. Good. 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 Lost. Lost. Ah, 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 ah. Go on. Lost. 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 No, 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 no. Good. Lost. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. Lost. Good. Lost. Lost. Good. No. Go on. Lost. I'm adding distance because I... Go on. Lost. I want her to work away from me. I want her to get fines away from me. Lost. See how she wants to hug this end of it? She's not going to get anything there. Lost. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good dog. That's a good girl. Hold. So what I'm going to start doing is we haven't done this for a while. That's why I kind of wanted to come back to it. Um, what I'll start doing is using this or any of the other cover. Tennis ball's on the far side of me and I'll slowly add distance to it away from it so that she's not finding stuff close to me. I don't want her to find it close to me. I don't want her to come close to me and get rewarded. I want her to hold the area at a distance. That's what we ran into a little bit here. So something that we can continue to work on. It's a fun thing for her and I just haven't been doing it for a while. So that's it. That, that pushes a very good session. Um, a nice long session. Um, there was a lot of value in it though. We got a lot out of it. So, um, you know, the, the bumps are good opportunities. If she came out and she did everything perfectly, <clears throat> she'd go home. She'd be ready to go home. But the problem is, is she's just not ready. To, she's not ready, I don't feel, to um, face everything that potentially is gonna come up. And will she be ready for everything? No, by the time she goes, but she's gonna be a lot, She's going to be as well prepared as I can get her. Um, I would feel very comfortable. I thought about it last night when we ran some of the drills in a new area. I'd feel very comfortable taking her on a hunt. I just have to have realistic expectations of it and understand that when things, read it so that when things get a little bit difficult, a little more complicated, just help her out. Don't put her in a bad spot to um, kind of knock down her self-esteem or her confidence in the field because of something that we didn't necessarily have her prepared prepared for training wise but 90 percent of the things that will happen i think i could handle with her real easily um, real successfully anyway so we're getting there we're getting real close good mm -hmm.